you're married. Meet time-strapped couple Mike and Janine. They've got to deal with Gina's one little twist. <laughs> you have to hand complete control of your wedding day to one of your mothers. Um, it is important that they get married in a church. That whole traditional thing, I think, is out. Will this be the wedding of their dreams? Or a total nightmare? May the best mom win. This is Janine and Mike. They've been very much in love for the past five years. He does have a lot of sex appeal. And he's very, very smart, good with his hands in every aspect. With all those sparks flying between them, you might wonder why these two lovebirds aren't already married. Where's the diaper bag? Since having their two kids, their lives have been too busy to organize anything else. Come on, honey. Our lives are ridiculously hectic. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! It's a happy, if chaotic, home, but Janine wants more. She thinks it's time to seal the deal. The ring, I actually picked it out and told Mike he had to buy it for me and give it to me by the end of January. Otherwise, he was out and done for. <laughs> There's a special place where my, um, where my grandparents' ashes are spread that we go to, and Mike took me there with the children and, um, got, well, said to me that, um, uh, my grand was... <clears throat> Always a number one fan of his, because she was his cheerleader. She loved Mike, um, and he wanted her to have a front row seat. And he got down on one knee, and I don't recall what he said after that. Um... Janine and Mike are a fantastic couple, and they deserve a fabulous wedding. But their chances of pulling off the big day on their own are extremely slim. Hi, I'm Gina. Please meet you. Nice to meet you, Janine. How you doing? I'm Mike. Gina. I'm here to give you that kick down the aisle. Definitely need a kick at yeah, the end. Absolutely. <laughs> now, before you get too excited, there is one condition. You have to hand complete control of your wedding day. So the dress, the menu, the decorations, to one of your mothers. <laughs> we have no say in anything? No say in anything. Really? <laughs> um the uh it's definitely a hedge. <laughs> It'll be tough. Party. It'll be tough. So are you prepared to do this? They don't think uh, we'd have the time if it wasn't be, no, being done this we way. Be doing so, it, so let's do it. Yeah. I'm in. It's a little scary, but it'll definitely be fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's fun. get married. Absolutely. All Gina has to do now is make sure everything runs smoothly and keep the peace. Maybe. They're up for the challenge. I mean, they're up, but they're scared. We do only get one shot at it. And if it's not what we like, then they could be ruined. <laughs> Meet the moms. Janine's mom, June, is a devout Catholic. Oh, my mother, June. She's an interesting individual. I, I am a traditionalist. I believe in marriage. June. <laughs> we really tease Mike that, you know, they hadn't been married. But I try not to judge other people. I try to go to church every Sunday. And if I don't get there on Sunday, it bothers me until the next time I get there. And it seems June's holier-than-thou attitude has paid off. She's been married to Jim for 42 years. No problem. My mother likes things her way and usually gets really annoyed if you don't do them her way. If Janine doesn't pick my vision of the wedding, I will hurt her. Mike's mom, Donna, is twice divorced and a mom of three, and religion's not really in her repertoire. When I'm not being a mother, then I am star. Right up! Donna, or star, teaches pole dancing. Star is a crazy, wild pole dancer who likes to have a good time and wants everybody who's around her to have a great time. Mom is uh, very energetic. Right into our fireman's band. For me, pool dancing is just expressing my own power, strength, and just being in control. Into our cat pump. You go to their house for a party, she would be the one on their table dancing, going, wow, getting the party going. Janine is hot. I can't believe that Mike found a better looking woman than his mother. The first time I actually met his mother, I danced on a bar together. Right like, she was doing one-arm push-ups, I was on top of her. It, it, was, it was really bizarre. I'd be concerned there'd be stripper poles at the reception, though. <laughs> Point taken. The moms aren't two of a kind. There's a definite contrast. She is very physically fit. I'm absolutely not. I don't know if she's maybe as daring. 
I would not want to get into a fight with Donna. She's a little more traditional. Because I know I'd win. Moving on, the idea of a perfect wedding day is perfectly opposite. I want it to be traditional. It would have all traditional elements. But I think Donna might have hooter shooters. You know what, that whole traditional thing, I think is out. For me, it is important that they get married in a church. I want them leaving there thinking that was a party. You don't want any uh, problems. You know, have a poll there and, and ask people to, you know, if they want the bride and groom to kiss, they have to do a poll move or something. It's just not for me. And then the table dancing starts and stuff like that. You just tend to get a little bit more courageous in that once you have that liquid courage in you. I'd like to have a piper, pipe her into the church. <sighs> I would be disappointed if uh, Janine and Mike didn't get married in the Catholic Church. <laughs> okay, I think Gina has a tough one here. I don't think either mom really knows exactly what their own child would really want for the wedding day. It's time for Gina to lay down the law. It's the mom versus mom showdown. Here's the challenge. Moms, you have two days to put together your vision of what you would love your children's wedding day to be. I will be helping you with your presentation, and I will be showing your visions to both Janine and Mike. Now, they'll only pick one mother's vision. The losing mom has to assist the winning mom with pulling together the entire wedding day. Oh, oh wow. Assistant. This is not good. I am not a follower. I'm a leader. I don't take instructions well. I'm going to have a great assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how that turns out. I am absolutely not going to lose this challenge. I'm going to make damn sure that I plan the day. So may the best mom win. I'm just worried. I mean, here we have like one pole dancing, pushy sort of parent, and then on the other side, we have this church lady that wants to pull this together. June is great. She's just a little more reserved. Donna is extremely outgoing, very forward, and it's going to be difficult. June, you're in the tradition, I'm the fun, and fun's going to win every time. Donna, in three weeks, we're going to be mothers-in-law. But until then, it's in-law wedding wars. Gina has laid down the law. The moms have two days to pull together their vision for Janine and Mike's ideal wedding. I'm here to pick up fabric for the dresses. Oh my gosh. I'm panicking. I didn't think that I would care what my wedding actually looked like. Very nice. My mother will make sure that all of the traditional elements will be there. The problem being is that it might be what she would want. Thanks a lot. I certainly don't want it to be a circus show. I do have a vision in mind. Mm -hmm. Fun, fun, fun stuff. Don is a wonderful party person, <laughs> but this is a wedding. Sounds like you're knocking my mom up. I'm not at all. Are we going to fight? Easy, guys. Save your energy for later. Time's up. Gina's meeting the moms at a church converted into a bar. How fitting. Ready or not, June and Donna are about to show Gina their visions for the wedding. This is my vision. Donna, this is a lot. In the church, of course. Outdoor wedding, golf course. Mikey, he's a golfer. The groomsmen in black tuxedos. Black and white is the theme. OK. Casual, not the formal okay. side of it. No, no, no. What is that? OK, so yeah, this strange looking stuff here, <laughs> this is Mikey's dreads. <laughs> I think it was 16. He's my wild child. If you want to put them in a vase or something. I don't know if I could. I mean, this is just next. OK. Fabric here for the bride's dress, strapless. Bridesmaids, ah. this dusty rose. Does and Janine like this color? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> and as a gift to the guests, this little whistle. A whistle. A whistle. Wedding cake, Stanley Cup. Big hockey fan. Yes. No, I think a, a lot about the wedding day is about the bride. Yes. So this is where I'm trying to let Mikey sort of have a say in some of the stuff. And this. Janine is kind of a dominating person. <laughs> no more. Don't. I'm okay. editing. I guess the biggest challenge is making sure that even though this sets the tone for a very classic wedding, that your wedding could be fun as well. And that's my job, to sort of rein it in, and we'll have to edit some things. I think we're going to switch it up, make it a little modern. And I think that you have a really good chance. Oh, my gosh. If they pick my vision, I will be over the moon. I feel very confident that they're going to pick my wedding, because it sounds like fun, doesn't it? I feel like it's very 50-50. 
Like, will they do the traditional wedding that her mom would love for her daughter to have, or just the big party? The time has come for Gina to pitch each mom's wedding idea to Janine and Mike. The couple don't know that June and Donna are keeping a close eye on them from a secret hiding place. Janine, Mike, are you ready to see the first presentation? Absolutely. Let's do it. Great. This mom's vision is classic with a little bit of a modern twist. We have the church wedding, ceremony, bagpipers. I like the bagpiper. I think that's sweet. <laughs> Means something? Yeah, I was a Highland, I was a Highland dancer. A-line traditional strapless gown, pink roses, and a hint of pink in the linens themselves. I must say it's a fabulous color choice. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I would like pink, but I'm I mean Seeing it displayed with everything else, it, it looks nice. I was completely against pink because I'm not a princess, but this looks beautiful. I mean, it's, it's stunning. She wasn't thinking pink, but uh, she did say that it does look good. And a whistle. What's Which, the whistle for? The whistle is some sort of family tradition. The whistle, I absolutely don't like it at all. Oh, she doesn't like the whistle. The whistle and the pink. Those two combined, that was, that was a... Uh, Mistake. It seems like this wedding was kind of planned for somebody else, not with me in mind. And that's kind of bothersome to me. I know I'm going to hurt somebody's feelings. So, sorry. It is very disappointing. And it wasn't planned with anyone else in mind. What are you thinking? Do you love, hate, like? Pretty sure I would love those cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> The piper, I love it. I okay. do. And even the okay. dress. I mean, I say that I'm not a princess, but every girl likes to get dressed up. Okay. And I, I think it would grow on me. OK. And I like the pearls. OK. They're very nice. Don't make your minds up yet. Are you ready to see your second presentation? Absolutely. Let's see it. Yeah. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> Guess who? So this mom's vision is obviously fun, mm -hmm. a little different, very black and white, and more form-fitting wedding gown. Rex would be the ring bearer. Mike, you and your best man would enter on motorcycles. Very nice. A Stanley Cup wedding cake. <laughs> we, we deserve a Stanley Cup after, you know, five years together. We, we deserve it. We have an outdoor wedding on a golf course. There is no church. This will be outdoors. My only concern, but it is, I, I mean, it's a major concern, is if it rains, I don't want it raining on our wedding day. I don't want people to be uncomfortable at our wedding. What if it doesn't rain? Wouldn't it be Our lovely? luck, it's going to rain. <laughs> now that you've seen both presentations, it's time to make a decision. Thanks. <laughs> While Janine and Mike agonize over their choice, backstage, Donna and June can no longer eavesdrop. No. And we'll have to wait to hear the final decision. I think I know what I want, but I'm scared of making the wrong decision. In mine, she liked the bagpiper. I think she also liked the uh, church. I think she liked that idea of the church wedding. You realize that if we don't pick this wedding, we're not going to get married in a church. But we're unique. I like the security of a church. Like, this one's outside, and who knows what could happen when it's outdoors. Do we go with what we want? Do we go with safe church? What are you going to throw at us now? Any more right? brain busters? Somebody's got to get hurt. Shouldn't be us. OK. How like long that? do we have to wait be a compromise <laughs> to hear the decision? I don't know. OK. Huh. I don't know if I want to hear it. <laughs> so you're making the decision? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> We've discussed it. You agree, right? He appended it on me, yeah. made me I... do it. So it was a little awkward. Yeah, thanks for I, I hanging me that. out to dry. Have you decided? I think we have. After a lot of thought. OK, stop. Don't tell me. OK. Tell your mom. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Janine, Mike, your moms have been watching in a secret room. Moms, they've made their decision. Go ahead. Ladies, uh, it was really uh, tough 
to decide. Um, we we ha had to go with one that we figured best suited us. We went with uh, black and white. The black and white wedding. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm happy. Can I do a winner and push up just oh to God. celebrate? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, 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 oh yes. 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 Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, God, that's so embarrassing. I am extremely disappointed. They're not getting married in a church, in our church. To see the upset look in my mom's eyes, and as soon as I wasn't the one saying it, she knew, and I couldn't even look at her. That It was horrible. Donna, congratulations. Thank you, I'm excited. In June, you will be Donna's assistant. I think we picked the wedding that suits us the most. And I think we'll be happy with it. Today was so drama filled, and I have this fear that it's not the toughest day, that the toughest day is yet to come. Now, Donna has less than a week to pull together her dream wedding. She's starting by showing Gina her choice of venue. It is so <laughs> beautiful. Where were you thinking of doing the ceremony? It's gotta be here. Look at this. It's where the water is. It's beautiful. I'm thinking this is where cocktail hour can be. Yes, and the motorcycles. I see a pathway over there. The guys can make their entrance on, and then we'll make our way inside for dinner. We have a, a lot of things to pull together in the small time frame that we have, so that's why I want to stress to, to use June. She's there to help. Use and abuse her? Use for <laughs> now, please. But I think that we can make this magnificent. Donna's vision was perfect. She's the boss. She needs to set up this wedding. I need you to hold fast to the vision that you had, because after all, that is the vision that Janine and Mike chose. I gotta go, I have a wedding to you plan. You do, you have a lot to do. <laughs> Next on the list, the wedding dress. Donna knows what she wants and has dragged June along to start her job as assistant. Oh, nice, this one. Very sexy, very sleek. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful, yes. That one's a keeper, too. Can we just look at another one? That's I'm it. just thinking sometimes something with more of a poof hides what's going on underneath. You <gasps> know, sometimes she just feels what are a you little. Saying? She's got a lot of junk no, in her no. trunk. I don't think she would be comfortable in them. You've got to hold your tummy in all the time. She's got a beautiful figure. Yeah, she does. She should show it off. We've got three dresses here that are slinky and sexy. I'm just asking for one that has a little more poof to it. I absolutely trust my own judgment over June's. How are you doing in there? Are you ready yet? I think I'm done. It seems to be done. Janine is wearing a blindfold as Donna wants to keep the dress a surprise until her wedding day. Ooh. I feel like I have to suck it in and it's not comfortable. Look at her figure. The cut of the top I like, but I don't like the cut on the skirt. I like it. It's pretty. I'm not sure about this dress because I think everybody will be able to see my gut. Janine, you have a beautiful figure. <sighs> that's, Show it off. That's wonderful. You look sexy. You know, I think I'd be OK, but after dinner, no. Absolutely. I think everything would show. And I'm a little concerned that if I can feel that my belly's showing right now, I'm a little concerned about what else would be showing. I've been standing here sucking it in the entire time, and it's starting to hurt a little bit. I, I don't feel comfortable in this dress, so please not this dress. Fine. Let's try the next one. Gina arrives to check out Donna's progress with the dress and with June. You finishing up in there? Yeah, she's zipped up. I just don't think you'll like it being that low cut for yeah, your wedding day. The low cut is sexy, June. But she's concerned about that. Are you concerned about that? Yeah, absolutely. I just want to try one dress on, my choice. No. You know what, June? I've made my decision. It's a beautiful, sexy dress. This is ridiculous. I'm out of here. This is this is nuts. What's going on? June. I don't really give a rat's ass if she's pissed off. We're on a timeline here. This is definitely more torturous than I thought it was going to be. This is the hardest pill for June to swallow. No one is happy at this point. My god, I'm the mother of the bride. If the things aren't Janine's choice, I'm going to be upset. She's the one wearing it, not me, not Donna. Mike and Janine picked my vision, 
and they picked it for a reason. I didn't know that Donna was gonna be very headstrong and not let my mom have any kind of say, and it really sucks. There's still a wedding to get organized. Donna takes June to her next destination, the party store. I don't think a party store is where you should really be picking up things for a wedding. Uh, not okay, key on paper no. plates. Uh, cowboy okay. hats I'm not sure of for okay. a wedding. So here we are for Rex. Dress him up a little bit. Dude, you it's know. up to you. I thought you were looking at casual. Okay. I feel that I have to reel Donna in a bit, um, bring her back off the edge of the, uh, the roof. You know, before she jumps over. What do you think? We're making it fun. Yeah. You I want don't the... know if the guys are going to go for that, though. They won't have a choice. Well, you well, know what? I can we clearly to. see we're on a different page. Oh yeah. Margaritas. I, you know, I don't drink. Don't like the thought of people being drunk before the wedding. It's not working for you. I can tell. I'm feeling like she thinks I'm trying to make a joke out of the wedding. Is there such a thing as having too much fun? Well, mm, this is not a 21st birthday party. All it's right. a wedding. That's it. There's less than a week until the wedding. June's other daughter, Jade, Janine's younger sister, loves baking. So Donna decides to mend some bridges by asking her to make the wedding cake. There is a special request for a Stanley Cup wedding cake. Uh, <laughs> I know it might be asking a lot. Well, I think it's going to be interesting. You can do that. Sure can. Awesome. <laughs> Tell me how many cakes have you made in your lifetime? This will be the sixth. What? <laughs> um, That's scary. <laughs> Jade. That is a little scary. Can we think of anything for a backup? A backup, Just in case. yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> Come on, guys. I am concerned, June. Um, I don't know. I, don't... I just, I was, I was just thinking that she had been in the cake business a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. I know she wouldn't take it on if she didn't know she could do it. I'm not so sure about doing the cake. I'm not so sure how I'm going to pull it off. Back at the homestead, Janine is feeling the pressure. Time for Gina to pay a surprise visit. I honestly feel like I can't even be excited about my own wedding right now. It's a huge day, and I don't know anything about it, so it's difficult to be excited about something that you don't know anything about. My mom's made a couple of remarks that it's going to look like a backyard barbecue. And as you can see, if I wanted a backyard barbecue, I could have had it here even though that, you know, her vision wasn't a clear depiction of me, there's still elements of it that I, I would want in the wedding. All right, so stop stressing. I'm here, leave the moms to me. I'll okay. take care of it. Meanwhile, Donna has taken June to see the venue for the first time. Nice. Well, it's not a church, but uh, I think God's gonna give them their blessing. This is the location right here. Um, my concern is what happens if it rains? Um, yeah. That uh, is there, obviously, is anytime plan? you have an outdoor wedding, that is going to be a concern. Obviously, it's not going to be as pretty. And we're only down here for a short time, and then we're going to make our way up there. I really don't know if this is going to work out. What is there not to like it about it? It is beautiful, but it's a golf course. It's you know, not for weddings, they're for golfing. For crying out loud, be excited for the couple. It's just the church thing. That's huge okay. in our family. Well, you huge. know what? I'm sorry. We're way beyond that. Right now, I think it's still all about you. It's going to well, be a great Well, you know what? Really, it's not all about me, Donna. It's all about you. Thank you very much. They, they picked my vision. And you know what? She's pissed. She's got to get over this. You know, the wedding is a few days away, and everybody is excited, except for June. The whole church thing really upsets me. I think it might hurt June a little bit to know that she didn't totally understand what her daughter wanted on her wedding day. Gina's at the venue getting everything in order and sees Donna. Gina! By herself. How are you? Where's June? She just left. 
She just, she can't seem to get past this church wedding. We're not in a church. Donna, I think that if June is this upset, you need to give a little bit to her because I feel like at this point, June isn't even gonna show up for the wedding. The way things stand, this wedding is not gonna go forward. And to be honest with you, I really don't wanna be part of this. I'm thinking how we can make this work and make June feel, you know, not less of an assistant and a little more of it being her daughter's day and her way. I want you to give her tasks. Her idea, bagpipers, kilts, and your games. Done. I can do that. Perfect. Oh, here's June. Hey! I'm glad you didn't leave. Yeah. I just had a talk with Donna, and it is your daughter. We should really introduce some of your wedding ideas. Mm -hmm. So, at this point, I'm going to have to separate you both. You're going to have to work on your tasks, and Donna, you'll have to work on yours. And Donna, let you know which tasks you'd like her to do. I know that um, the Scottish background, that's huge. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking that, you know, if you take care of bagpipes and the kilts. Thanks, Donna. What about games? After dinner? Few... Games after dinner. See these games, they're gonna drive me freaking insane. I know there's a fun June in there. She's gotta let it out. Like, what do you play? Pin the tail on the mother-in-law. I thought I was just a wedding planner. With this wedding, I'm a wedding planner. I'm a shrink. I'm a psychotherapist. I really need to talk to someone about getting kilts. It is kind of nice to be on my own. Janine, you know your goddaughter is getting married to that Mike to that Mike guy. I think you've met him a couple of times. Um, we'd really like to have her piped in. Scottish heritage taken care of. June is struggling with her last oh. task. Hi, Gina. Oh, hey, June. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know where to start with these games. Can you help me at all? Okay, okay. okay. June? I'm going to come and help. I hope it's good help, hon. I don't know what I'm going to do having grown-ups, a bunch of grown-ups, all dressed, running around in a, in a yard playing games. And uh, I don't know how Gina's going to help me with this, but she's apparently she has something up her sleeve. Donna is checking up on the cake. With three days to go, she's banking on it being perfect. Otherwise, she's going to have a crisis on her hands. Wow. <laughs> you like it? A lot. <laughs> Good. As important as Janine's dress is to her, mm -hmm. that's what this cake means to my <laughs> um, chocolate, vanilla, what layers. It, it's what, scattered. What? So it'll be chocolate on the bottom and then vanilla and then chocolate. It'll uh, throughout. Rotate. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you want to do it for the wedding? Let's do it. Watch your stuff. Gina is on a mercy mission to help June with her last task. This fixes everything, June, because the games are going to be what games should be for. They should be for the children. Take good care of her. Good idea. Sure a will. huge weight has been lifted off me. We have things to occupy the children, keep them out of our hair. I'm really excited about this. It's two days to the wedding, and Janine and Mike are panicking about the cake. I don't think a Stanley Cup cake has ever been made before, and I don't know if it can be, so. To curb any cold feet, Gina takes them to see it. Fingers crossed, it's what they want. Oh my god! Wow, awesome. that looks awesome! <laughs> it looks so much like the Stanley Cup, I can't believe it. Wow, that is awesome. I don't know how to thank you for it. You just gave us a, a great sense of relief. Thank so you, thank, thank you, you so much. I, I do feel tears coming on. It's, it's emotional, <laughs> you know? <laughs> This is huge. I, I can probably actually sleep tonight, so thank you. <laughs> You're awesome. Oh, God. <laughs> Donna is on the golf course where the outdoor ceremony is due to take place in less than 24 hours. The forecast for tomorrow does not sound promising. I think they're calling for like a major thunderstorm and lightning. I'm just really bummed right now. <laughs> 
everything has just happened so fast, and um, I just really haven't been able to think about the specific day. And every time I've been out here to this location, it's been beautiful and sunny. So just the reality that I might have to, you know, change it to an indoor wedding was not part of my vision. And now I'm sad that it may not happen out here. Donna's heart is set on outdoor vows, but she takes a look at her options. When I look in this room, I'm even sadder because there's no comparison. It's time for some professional help. Donna, I do this for a living. This can happen. If we have that small moment where we could possibly get them out to say their vows, we will do that and then bring them in for the reception, all right? I didn't tell Donna about the idea that the ceremony may be completely inside because she was so emotional. I felt at that point she may throw herself in front of a golf cart. I'm going to show you exactly Gina takes everyone in hand and organizes the rehearsal without the bride and groom present. Up, get your shoulders back. Space here and then give both your boys a kiss. Oh, it's yeah. a big deal, you know, it's all on your shoulders. Mm. Back at June's, the wedding guests from out of town are starting to arrive. <laughs> the rehearsal went great. How are you feeling? That's, I'm a, so that's a relief, yeah. <laughs> oh no, the mother! Joe and Joe, Joe! Here's to tomorrow. Today's the day Janine and Mike get married, and Gina's up early to go over the last minute details for Janine and Mike's black and white wedding. I think that if we get this room looking as perfect as possible for her, she's not going to notice that, you know, it's, it's not so great outside right now. The weather doesn't look great. <laughs> there's a good chance that the ceremony may have to be in here too. Um, my, my heart was just set on being outdoors for the ceremony. Um, I know that this isn't the plan that you want, but we have to think realistically. If it is storming the way it's supposed to and it's looking pretty dark out there, this is something that we would have to do. <sighs> if it stays like this, we'll be okay, but who knows, everything's up in the air. And we'll be back here at 1.30 to meet Gina, and, and we'll make that decision. With two hours until the ceremony, Donna rushes to deliver Janine's wedding dress. Hi. Hello there. There you go. I hope she loves the dress. Great. OK, got to go. Okay. Got okay. Okay. Very good. Thanks. to do. Thanks. All right. It's time for Janine to see Donna's choice of dress for the very first time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You are. Are you happy with this? No. I mean, I'll get married in it because I want to marry Mike, but I don't want to wear this. I knew at the wedding dress shop that that was the wrong dress for her. I just was begging Donna to let me try another dress on her, and Donna said, no. It's just, it's not me. I would never want to walk down an aisle wearing that dress even if I was down an aisle at a grocery store. I don't want to have to suck it in all night. My boobs don't look very good. Like, this is, these aren't even my boobs. Like, I take them off, and, and Mike's going to be like, where'd your boobs go? You want to try another dress? <laughs> OK. I think I had the right to do this. Donna's not around. After everyone left, I went back to the, to the shop. And uh, the gals there knew her size, and uh, they helped me out. It's beautiful. Oh, yes, that's definitely the dress. My mom knows what was going to make me happy, and I couldn't be happier. The, the dress is absolutely stunning. She just looks amazing. She looks to me like a bride. I think Mike is just going to be floored when he sees me. Thank you so much, Mom. You're welcome. 
now that she's in that dress. I am really, really looking forward to this. I'm so excited. One crisis averted, thanks to June. But who's going to manage those storm clouds? Inside the reception hall, things are ready to go. But the prospects for an outdoor ceremony are not good. The weather is still very on and off. We're just not sure exactly what we're going to do. Donna should be here in 10 minutes. We're going to make an executive decision as to ceremony outside or in. And I don't think that I've ever cut things this close to the beginning of a wedding. Come on out here with me. It's yeah. time to make your decision. You have to choose inside or out. If we go in, your vision isn't realized. If we stay out here, you have the chance that the ceremony is going to be rained on. And that includes your guests. You know what? We're gonna have an outdoor wedding. Donna, it's a risk. If it starts to rain, your guests are gonna be running for cover. That is your decision. An outdoor wedding. Go get dressed. <laughs> Go get dressed. <laughs> Let me work on it. All right. I guess we could, we could do as close as, yeah. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, that'll work. They could see it from here. While Gina plays musical chairs, the first guests begin to arrive. Just slide it over. Perfect. Can we have removed this bush? No, I'm kidding. Well done, Gina. Thunder strikes. Nope. It's the groom on his motorbike. I love you. With both the traditional and not so traditional elements of Mike and Janine's wedding coming together. Eight Rex, 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 sit. Well, sort of. Gina and Donna try to persuade the guests to take their seats in the drizzle. There's uh, empty chairs on the other side, and it's okay. probably a better view. You have to come down now, okay? We're going to get started. Gina gets word that Janine has arrived. Okay, are we good to go? But no one can find June. Yeah, I need June. I... <sighs> Where is June? Where's June? Maybe she's had enough. Okay. I really don't want to be part of this. June? Is June up there? Well, I don't know where she is, but we got to get started. Where is she? Okay. In the front of the building. The front? Yeah, I see no one. Oh, my good Lord. With June found safe and sound, the wedding processional can begin. But Donna feels the first raindrops. Oh, my God. My worst nightmare. It's just spitting. It's spitting. It's spitting. My worst nightmare. No time for nightmares. Your dream wedding is happening now. Janine braves the rain to make her way down to Mike. June is fully prepared with an umbrella and a silent, I told you so. And Donna catches sight of June's choice of wedding dress for the first time. I'm not too happy. If that's what Janine's choice was, then, then fine. But it was just going behind my back that really pisses me off. I will forgive June for changing the dress, but I won't forget. Michael, take care. Thank you. <laughs> you may be seated, ladies and gentlemen family and friends. We're gathered here today in the presence of you to join you, Mike, and you, Janine, in matrimony. And with this ring... I promise before God... I promise before God... To be a loving and caring husband to you. To be a loving and caring husband to you. And with this ring... I promise before God... I promise before God... To be a loving and caring wife to you. To be a loving and caring wife to you. To promise to cherish you always. 
to promise to cherish you always. And to place our marriage. <laughs> and to place our marriage. Above all else. Above all else. It is my honor and delight to declare you henceforth husband and wife. Sir, you may kiss your lovely bride. With the ceremony complete, the happy newlyweds can head inside. Just in time, as moments later, the skies open and down comes the dreaded rain. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present the bride and groom. I'd like to thank my beautiful wife. No problem. <laughs> for actually saying I do, so thank you. And I also want to thank both my mother and Donna. And although they're both very different in so many different ways, they both care for their children immensely. Both of you are phenomenal women, and I could only wish to be as half as great as both of you are. Thank you. really put together a wonderful wedding. She did phenomenal. My mother had uh, a lot of obstacles in front of her. She really did get pretty creative on us. I, I like the glasses, I like plateware. Definitely like the no pink. And my mother helping out, I think really kind of brought the traditional element in. It's fun, it's new, it's different. It's a sexy wedding. We've loved it all, like this cake for instance. It's beautiful, along with uh, every other element of the day and uh, Happy to be uh, married. It has just been an unbelievable journey. I wanted this day to be perfect. I didn't want it to rain. I wanted Donna to have her moment. I wanted June to be happy too. And with these kind of personalities, it's almost impossible. But everyone right now seems to be very happy. And with that, I think I've done my job. So in-law wedding wars are over. over. <laughs> I won the challenge, but in the end, it it you know was what? both our visions. It was, yeah, it was, it was a, combination. a good combination. It yes. ended up, it ended up being teamwork You're to right. put this, to yes. pull this whole day off. So that's right. You know that's what? That's right. It was. Um, it was a team. We're a team. <laughs> we're team Donna and June. <laughs> Can you believe the it? The dynamic duo. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Nick and Anna. They have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand complete control of your wedding day to one of your mothers. Wow. Uh, I plan to be the boss. I am not going to lose. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? Enough. You are so stubborn. I can't take this anymore. The war is on. May the best mom win. Nick and Anna are all aglow with beauty and love. My spicy taquito. What I love about Anna is starting with those gorgeous eyes, to those lips, right down to the lakes, and her personality and tops everything off. You can't get a better package. That's hot. Can we spin? Yeah. I like that one. I like it. That's cute. Yeah. Give me something else. Let's see what this is. Let's turn around. Yeah. Give me a little spin. Ah. No. It's not I bad. Know. I think the other one's. Yeah? Oh, yeah, go put okay. the other one on. Wow. Oh, so, that looks nice. I, I like that, that one. That's the one, that's, yeah. I like this that's one. That's hot. Yeah. It looks sexy. What do you think about this one? This that's is the, the one. one. Do we look good together yeah. with this? All right, okay. let's go party. Yeah. Woo. What I like about Nick is, I mean, head to toe, he looks good. We're here to pump it up. <laughs> As a hobby, I like to work out with him. OK, grab it, chest up. And just. Try and build some muscle. <laughs> Elbows back, right down. Reach high. There you go. She's very into it, so she's motivated. Fourteen. Five more. Now what? You're going to do about 200 pounds. That's lightweight. I'm intensive with the training. 
I mean, look at his arms. His arms are just as big as his heart. They grew, as you can see. Oh, yeah. Me and Anna met about two years ago at a club. I seen that beautiful face, and I had to go up and shoot her a line. <laughs> are you going to do some free weights, too? You look like a pretty good free weight. Get what? <laughs> when we first saw each other, we just looked at each other, and it was like a connection that we had, just like, you know, looking at each other. I know what she's talking about. <laughs> yeah, like, it's hard to explain, but we moved in together really quick. And we've spent <laughs> probably one night apart since we met. <laughs> so we actually planned on getting married, but then I got pregnant. Yeah. So then we thought, OK, let's buy a house first yeah. instead of getting married. Surprise! Walking down the aisle would have to wait. Nick Jr., named after me, obviously. And he's uh, the best thing in our life. I love my time with him. He's so cute. <laughs> hey, you. Being a first-time mom at first was kind of hard, but now it's just like, it's amazing. Do you like that? Open up, up, up. No more waiting. It's time to tie the knot. This couple of hotties need a hand to get down the aisle. Anna and Nick are getting married, and I'm about to plan their wedding day. But are they ready for what I'm going to tell them? I'm here to make your wedding day happen. Now, there is one condition. Uh-oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's that? <laughs> you have to hand complete control of your wedding day. The location, the dress, the theme, the menu, to one of your mothers. <laughs> oh, which mother? <laughs> You'll decide. Everything. Everything. Decor, oh music. Music? No, that's my, like, big <laughs> thing is the music. <laughs> <laughs> so, Anna and Nick, are you prepared to do this? Do we have a choice? <laughs> I could leave. Do we want to get married <laughs> okay, okay. really bad. <laughs> yeah. We'll keep you here. Yeah. Yeah. We're up for it. I guess we're up, we're up, for, up it. for it. Yep. Let's go get you married. I don't know how they're going to choose which mom. Ah! I'm going to go crazy. Them doing it, I don't know. It's going to be something else. <laughs> <laughs> and add the moms. Hmm. Mom Anna is a single spicy salsa queen whose youth has not yet passed her by. I am a Latin girl and I like parties. I like to wear sexy and I like to have fun. She's also the kind of youthful mother, like modern, likes to dress well. Actually, she steals my, my clothing sometimes. This top is sexy. I think it's mine, no? <laughs> she still parties even though like, she's a bit older. Actually, we go together for parties. After dinner, we can go dance, yeah? That's a good idea. Anna's mom likes to hit the clubs and drink her cerveza. And if her mother got control oh of this wedding, it could be a riot she thing. She could have you monkeys know? in each corner, yeah. she probably would. You know? <laughs> Something different. Live animal sure. entertainment. <laughs> Nick's mom, Catherine, is a homemaker who believes in more traditional mothering roles. I'm conservative, but I can be tough. Set like, to her ways. She's set in her own yeah. ways. I like to stick to traditions, not having things get too wild, too out of hand. The thing that would scare me the most about Catherine's idea would be nobody having a good time, everybody being bored, yawning. I know, there's <laughs> Bibles in every table. You know, the music's like so quiet, you can't even hear it. Too quiet, yeah. Yeah, you can hear the birds chirping. <laughs> the moms are well aware of their differences. We are very different. She's uh, very traditional. Anna probably thinks I'm boring. Mm -hmm. She's wilder, flirtatious, loud. I am fire. I like to have fun. I can appreciate a glass of wine or two over the evening, but I think Anna's idea of a good time might be maybe a bottle or two, at least. She's like a plain Canadian sandwich, and I am a <laughs> chicken quesadilla. <laughs> Everyone has their own ideas for a picture-perfect day for the picture-perfect couple. We are young, so I guess not too conservative, not too flashy, but maybe, you know, still in between. We still want to have a big party. But we love to have fun. Yeah. <laughs> I have a vision of a, a 1940s uh, wedding with classical music. Very traditional classic. No way. <laughs> Wine, music, merengue, salsa, like a party. A lot of tequila, margaritas, and uh, piñas coladas. <laughs> more on the wild side than what I have in mind. A party should be full of uh, drinks, uh, exotic drinks. Cake. Strawberry shortcake. That's my favorite. I had it for my birthday. The cake should be with uh, colors, with passion, red, something different. Long flowing white gown. I don't like to hide my woman too much, so uh, maybe we'll bring a pair of scissors. <laughs> the dress should be strapless, showing part of her breast, uh, something sexy. Short. Dry dress, yeah, short. 
leg showing, yeah. skin. You can wear a disco dress any day of the week, but a long, beautiful wedding gown, how many times do you get to do that in your life? Come on. Game on. Gina's got her work cut out for her. We really have no balance here whatsoever. It's time for Gina to explain what really is fair in love and war. Over the next two days, I want each mom to plan the ideal wedding for the bride and groom. Only one mom's vision will be chosen. And the losing mom has to assist the winning mom with planning and organizing the entire wedding day. Assisting. Assist. No Assist. way. No way. I'm going to be the boss. <laughs> I can't be an assistant. <laughs> Never. They're going to choose me. I am not going to lose. Oh. One winner, one assistant. Well, may the best mom win. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever they decide on, Anna and Nick are going to have to live with this vision for the rest of their lives. We're your judges. Who has the better idea? You're going down, girl. I feel like there's potential for this family to sort of blow up on each other. It's my daughter's wedding. I plan to be the boss. I am not going to lose. Anna will put up a pretty good fight, but I can be pretty stubborn as well. Catherine, I'm going to win, because who doesn't want to party? Anna, you're going down. Gina has spoken. The moms have only two days to get items to help explain their visions of the big day. <laughs> That's sexy. Ah, uh, yes, long stem red roses. Gina will then create a professional wedding presentation with the items of inspiration the moms bring. Perfect, that's exactly what I'm looking for. If my mom has her way, my biggest worry would be that. Nobody having a good time, everybody being bored, yawning, everything really conservative. This will show my vision beautifully. Thanks so much. And his mom would like something very vibrant, jump out at you. It's hot. The thing that would scare us the most would be her taking it too far. Wow. Oh, my daughter will look so beautiful in this. Sexy, shiny, short. And people just thinking this is crazy. It's like a zoo in here. This is not a wedding. <laughs> it's a nightclub. Sexy, very sexy. The moms have had two days to put their presentations together, and I'm excited to see what they have. Show me your stuff. 1940s classic, elegant theme, sexy Latin. Body. The traditional pearls, white long gloves, very 40s. Full of colors, everything shiny, bright. <laughs> long stem roses, beautiful, simple wedding. Do you like it? Uh, a, a cake top? Yes. I choose this one special. Of a bride holding the groom's head? Yes, the woman should be the boss. Oh. <laughs> Nick? Nicholas. In a top hat. Yeah, and bow tie. He's going to love it. This. Short, tight, Pardon? isn't it beautiful? <laughs> you don't think Anna would mind wearing something so short Anna or see-through? Anna will love it. And Nick, too. <laughs> OK. 1940s era shoe. For Anna? Yeah. Shoes should be sexy, too. Something higher. High. Exactly. OK. Some beautiful classical music, of course. Salsa, merengue, cha-cha. Sexy Latin party. It's not a birthday party, it's a wedding. Piñata. <laughs> Do you like it? Sure is shiny. You have a very formal concept. They may think that formal equals boring. Both of them will love it. You gave me a lot to work with. Oh, yes. We're going to edit some stuff down. We'll present it to the couple in the best way. Good luck, Anna. I want to win. Catherine, my idea is much better than yours. It's hot. Anna, when I see my vision, there's just no doubt in my mind they're going to be blown away. Is the 40s too boring? Is the salsa too hot? Both visions need a lot of refining. I have my work cut out for me. Gina's holding the reins. It's her turn to present the couple with the mom's big plans. Nick and Anna have no idea their moms are hiding out, listening in and watching everything. <laughs> Anna and Nick, behind these screens are the presentations that represent the most important day of your lives. So are you ready to see what your wedding day could be? Yeah. We're ready. <laughs> Let's look at the first presentation. <laughs> That's so neat. So the theme for this wedding is a sexy Latin hot party. 
Yeah, I like that. That's oh neat. God, that is cool. We have chili pepper pinatas, lots of color, festive margaritas. Tequila? Oh, you can go for that. That makes everything Shots. pretty. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Look at the cake. <laughs> chili pepper wedding cake with our beheaded groom. <laughs> Salsa music, spicy food. Yeah, that's good. She loves I guess. the spicy, not me. A short, fun, flirty wedding dress. That's like the smallest wedding dress Wondering. I've ever seen. We thought you'd like that. For a wedding? Yes. Disco or weddings? Is the bum exposed on that one? Not yet. Not yet. No. <laughs> Neck dress. Yeah. He likes the dress. <sighs> so, are you ready for the next presentation? Yes. Yeah. We'll move the next screen. Oh. This vision is 40s Hollywood glam. This oh, is classy. Oh, that's nice. This is very classy. Yeah, that's Look, cool. the gloves. You wanted gloves, yeah. remember? Very classic. A formal church ceremony with classical mm. music? Oh, no. no. Oh, come on, be open-minded. Anna, you'd be in a formal wedding gown? I'd have to okay. cut it. Scissors for sure, if I can't find them. I'll have tequila and some teeth. <gasps> yeah, sexy. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, tails. Top hat? Mm, no, I'm not a duck. <laughs> <laughs> the color is the white, black, and the red. It looks really nice. Yeah. It sounds like you have a lot to oh, discuss. Yeah. And when I come back, you can give me your decision. Thanks. Nick and Anna need to weigh both presentations and pick the one that suits them best. Backstage, the moms can no longer listen in. That's it? And have to wait to hear the final decision. <sighs> oh, decision time. I don't know. The party. Classy. It's They're hard. both us. Like things from here and like things from there, so it's hard. Yeah. <sighs> oh, when do we find out? The biggest worry is one of them being really upset. And uh, I hope we don't hurt their feelings yeah, or anything. But... At the end, it's our wedding, right? So yeah. we gotta choose what we like. I like the nice candles. Say. The church, though, I don't know. No, not we the don't church. Want a church. What about that ducktail thing? No, no. Or Good. the hat. Oh, no. No. Now what about really this one? Nice. I love the I like drinks. The margarita. Yeah, it's different because it's like a party, you know? Like, music? who gets married like this? Yeah, I like that. I really like the cake topper. That's how it's going to be. I hope you know oh. that. Yeah? We're going to flip no. a quarter. No, I don't, I don't care know. what you say. This is going to be a battle. I choose, and that's okay. the end of it. Then we'll do paper, rock, scissors. No. You can be a gentleman, and you can do what the woman wants, right? Oh. So be the man. I am the man, <laughs> without the spicy food. Quite a bit of disagreeing. Yeah. That's not the way it's going to be. OK, guys, time's up. I need your decision. And we're still debating. Do we have to choose right now? We've decided to, to go, go with. Don't tell me. Yeah. Tell your mothers. Oh, no. Oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. Anna and Nick, what you don't know is that your moms have been listening to all of your comments. Uh-oh. They've heard everything. Everything? Uh oh. Um, yes. I'm going to leave you alone to tell your moms who you've decided on. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. We have to tell them face to face. I felt bad at the same time because I know they worked really hard. We've come debating quite a bit. We like both. It's been hard for us. We've decided to go with. <sighs> Mama <Yeah>. Catherine. <laughs> Yes, 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 Congratulations, Catherine. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so <laughs> Anna, you're to be Catherine's assistant. So I can see quite a bit of disagreeing between the two moms and yeah. with her being the assistant. I'm sure she's going to be a bit bossy. I hope there's no problems with Anna being an assistant. And you're going to be a good one, I could tell. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. I don't think I'm sure. So. I'm so, so upset. And they've made the right choice. I'm prepared to stick to my guns when it comes to my vision. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. No. I feel disappointed. I feel upset. I wanted something different, more exciting, more uh, happy. We're going to have a beautiful wedding. We have a lot to plan. We have a lot to do. Let the in-law wedding wars begin. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is my stuff. 
sorry, but we're gonna fight. Easy, Tiger. There's less than one week for Catherine to plan the perfect wedding. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding dress. Anna has given full control to her mother-in-law. Whatever decision Catherine makes, Anna is going to have to live with that for the rest of her life. Oh, these are beautiful, Anna. Gorgeous. Ooh. Oh, it's too traditional. We need to hang on to tradition. That's That's ridiculous. Look at this. It's too long. I don't like it. Your daughter loves the long dress. I don't think I so. I think, yeah. You're off the mark on this one. No. Yes. It's my daughter's wedding. Mm. There we go. Sorry, it's not my style. It's not my it's taste. It's not your wedding. I think you don't totally know your daughter well enough. You want it chopped off. It won't even look like a wedding dress. Yeah. It's not sexy. Why does it have to be sexy? Because it's a, she's a woman. Look at all the dresses. Women feel beautiful in these gowns. No. Mm. Catherine, look at this one. This dress is perfect. Hot wedding, Latin style. Not my style. Isn't it Our about style. showing your love more than showing your legs? Well, let's look at a few more and we can get Anna to try some on. And... Catherine sends Anna into the dressing room, blindfolded with her selection of gowns. You look gorgeous. That's so beautiful. Can you turn around so I can see the back? Mom, what does it look like? To be honest with you, I really don't like it. Not really what I want for you. It feels like it, it's nice. I'm just wondering how it looks. Are you serious? I'm trying on my wedding dress with a blindfold. It looks nice on you, but uh, it's not the one I want for you. So I'm I don't think right Catherine is <laughs> right when she chooses this dress. Well, I love it, Anna. You look gorgeous. Try on another one. Oh, Anna. I didn't think it could be any better than the last one. This is amazing. It's too long. Catherine is going too far. I don't want to see my daughter in this kind of dress. It looks amazing. Really? Yeah. Just beautiful. It feels like a marshmallow yeah. kind of like... No, no. Yes, marshmallow. Do I look fat? But no. I don't know, these things here feel kind of funny, like huge pimples on a dress. If you could see it, it looks beautiful. She oh. looks too fat. What? Fat. I look fat? Yeah. Oh my god, you do. Maybe I should try something else on. Wow. Look at her. Oh my god. She's so goodness. beautiful. Uh, You're gonna be kidding, what a joke. The dress That's I was not a wedding for. gown. This is my dream. Your dream. It doesn't <gasps> look like a wedding dress. Yeah. It's not a gown. I really like how I feel in it a bow on a disco dress. I love it. You look so beautiful. Pretty. Sexy. Can't you be sexy tastefully? <laughs> she wants the long gown. No, yeah, I don't think yeah. so. I will not back down, Anna. Go yeah. change. I can't bear to look at it. Just please. I, I really mean. like this dress. Enough, Anna. <laughs> She's wearing a long gown. End of story. We just started planning the wedding, and the moms are already fighting. They're both pretty stubborn. This is really scary. I don't even know what I signed up for. My daughter is going to dress in the way I want. I hope Anna's mom can get on board and enjoy the wedding for what it should be, because I'm not going to back down. No. I don't care about what she thinks. Catherine won't let up. She drags Anna to sample the sweet sounds of strings. Oh, I just fell asleep there. I didn't, I didn't like it. Cause it's, uh, you know, it's not my style. Beautiful. There is nothing more beautiful. We have another auditionist, a violinist to listen to. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This music is like a funeral. So sad, so depressing. Come on. Oh, that was beautiful. That was just beautiful. So boring. Oh my God. It's not my style. This is so amazing. I don't like it. It's really unfortunate that she can't see the beauty in classical music. There's like eight violinists. We have an oboe player, a flutist, a harpist oh, really? to look at. We have about 10 more instruments. It's going to be stunning. I, I, I can't do, do, I, I can do this anymore. 
And Enjoy your I style. I want you to be part of this. No, okay. don't do this. Where are you going? I need fresh air, okay? And Nick and Nana are gonna hate this music. I'm very upset, disappointed. I don't wanna support her. Oh, unbelievable. I don't want Anna to ruin the wedding. If everything's not her cup of tea, we can't help Anna if she won't change her attitude. She has to realize I'm the boss. Catherine may be boss, but she can't control everything. She finally gets a call back from her family church. Really, that date's not available? That's the day of the wedding. Are you sure there isn't something you can do for us? Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Catherine doesn't have a moment to deal with the loss of her church. Running out of time, she's convinced Anna to keep their appointment to sample cakes. Oh, Anna, you're gonna love this. Wasn't that exquisite? No, really. Tea? No, oh. really. Too sweet for me. Do we have something spicy there? Give it a go. Just to make you happy. Oh, no. No. Okay, not gonna give up here. Cakes. Oh, thank you. Doesn't that look delicious? Mm, Just why? try it. You're gonna love it. Oh. Mmm, mm. that is heavenly. No. Oh. It's not my, my taste. I don't like it. No? Try this one. Mmm. Enough. It's just awful. It tastes like a crap. Nobody in my family is gonna like this kind of stuff. I don't like it at all. I don't know what to tell you, Anna. They sweet. chose my vision. Sad. Keep trying, because we have to make a decision on one of these cakes today. Even though I don't like it? You haven't even tried them all. No, I got enough. If you're not going to help me, I will make a decision on a cake alone. I'm not going to allow you to do that. You are so stubborn. I'm but, stubborn. Uh, you know, I don't You don't give even up. want to try the cake, and I'm stubborn. I, I'm going to leave because I can't take this anymore. I have your cooperation again as you leave. I'm sorry. Again. Katarina, I'm sorry. I'm going to leave. OK? Bye. We were spending more time arguing instead of making decisions. This is really important, and I think Gina will be able to help us. Otherwise, this wedding is going downhill. Right now, the wedding is not going to happen. Things are not good. Both moms are decidedly unhappy. Let's see if I can make some peace. I know that you've been unhappy. I am here to try and fix things. So, the church. I know. The church is occupied that day. The church would have been ideal. It's heartbreaking. They won't be able to get married in a church. The good thing is, the minister that you wanted to use, Minister Jim, is available. Oh, great. He could come to the venue. We would set it up to look exactly like a church, as much as we could. The chairs, the front, that would look a lot like an altar. That's the next best thing. I do appreciate it. I know that Anna wasn't too thrilled with a few of the details. Oh, she doesn't want to agree to anything. Obviously, she lost, and your visions are very different. I was wondering if you would let Anna have her own cake as well. You wouldn't have to give up your cake. Mm. I think with Anna, bringing in a little bit of her spiciness is going to go a long way. And with that, you will have a great assistant. <sighs> it's come to that. <sighs> sure, I guess if she has to be that adamant about it. OK. And now there was one more thing. <sighs> Would it be OK if we had a little bit of that salsa music? Sure, somewhat. Yeah, not at the beginning. All right, that's great. Let's bring Anna in. Hi, Gina. Come on in, sit down. Thank you. So, what's going on? Has been crazy. I don't know what's gonna happen. I was speaking with Catherine, and we're going to try and fix this. We would like to give you your own wedding cake at the kids' wedding. Oh, really? Yes. That sounds good. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Catherine would like to give you some salsa music in the reception as well. I'm happy. <laughs> You'll have to thank, thank Catherine for that one. Thank you, Catherine. Yeah. So you'll have the music you want. Mm -hmm. You'll have a cake that you want. Sounds good. OK. All right, let's all get on board. Thank you. We okay, can do help. this. I'm ready to plan this wedding. I was a little taken back at first that I had to make compromises. I thought I'd won my vision. So hopefully that's it. I'm always the planner. I usually feel like the shrink, but I think today I was more of the diplomat, and it seemed to work onward and upward. Anna's finally in charge and drags Catherine to learn a little salsa for spicing up the reception. You're going to like it. Oh, you know? I don't like surprises. Be positive. So the salsa rhythm is quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. 
Ready? One, two, three, five, six, seven, one. Loosen the hips. Five. Back with the right. Six, seven. So it's one, two, three, five, six, seven. Basic. Hips. Loosen the hips. We'll try it again. Ready? Catherine, more hips. Anna looks hot. I love what she's doing with her hips. I feel the music in my body. I really like it. Catherine, come on. It just seems very silly to me. It wasn't my vision. Not at all. It'd be embarrassing. Yeah. I just need a break. Come on, Catherine. I need a break. Oh, come <laughs> on. I really have fun today with Catherine. I am glad that she was willing to try this salsa. I want to check in with Anna and Nick. With all that's going on, I hope that they're not getting cold feet. How are you feeling? Mixed emotions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Closer it gets, the more pressure's on. I'm scared about the mothers. They've been arguing, fighting. The war is on. There was a lot of arguing going on when I tried on the dress, so that kind of has me scared of how things are going to end up, uh -huh. especially because I didn't get to see the dress. They have very different tastes. It's my wedding. <laughs> Well, I've been with your moms, and uh, things are progressing nicely, actually. <laughs> I was expecting different, but yeah. anything else you're nervous about? Just a little skeptical about this uh, tail and hat. Do I really have to wear that silly hat and silly long tail? Well, when you pick mom's vision, you get the whole vision. I'm going to help with the dress. OK. Don't worry about the attire. Just plan on coming and having a good time. I am here if you need me. What a relief. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> Catherine shows up at the venue early for a sneak peek before the rehearsal. You mind taking this and putting it in the back for me? Thank you. Hey! Oh, I really wanted the service in a church, and that's not happening now. Great place for a reception, but a bar in the church? I know. I know what you're thinking. I just want my vision to come through. It's what the kids want. The good news is Minister Jim is available. He's thrilled he's on well, board. Well, that's great. What else is going on? Well, the church is one issue, but then there's Nicholas. He doesn't want her to wear the long gown, doesn't want to wear the tux. They're fighting over the bow tie. He has to realize that this is your vision. It's not how I want us to be communicating at this point. I just feel like I'm losing control of my vision. I understand. You have to trust me. This is an amazing space. It's really going to be transformed, and I don't want you to worry about anything. Okay. We're going to make this a church if it kills me. <laughs> and it might, actually. <laughs> to keep the venue a surprise for the couple, the wedding rehearsal will go on without them. We're obviously not in a church. We're in the reception venue. And we are going to make this area as much like an altar as possible. So what we're going to do is line you up. If I could have the ladies in this hall over here, and then I'll get the groomsmen to start with the two moms here. You could wait right there. How are my men? I need you lined up. Anna and Catherine, go straight back. Nice and slow tomorrow. We're going to do a quick left. Perfect. It's showtime. Ladies, you one at a time. Okay. Remember this tomorrow, and we're good to go. <laughs> Time to take a breath and toast a job well done. The wedding is tomorrow and has been a very difficult time for Catherine and I. Oh. We have been fighting a lot. Just don't see eye to eye on anything. But we're going to make the best of it. It's going to be a happy day. I'll try not to embarrass myself. Or Anna. <laughs> With all this trauma going on, it's going to be pretty hard. It's like one of the most special days in somebody's life. I mean, it's my big day and I don't even know what I'm going to wear. But Anna and Nick need to put their fears behind them to entertain their guests. Soon to be Mrs. Novia. Huh? Cheers to Nick and Anna. Thank you. I have a surprise tomorrow. I'm going to surprise everybody. Even Catherine going to be surprised. Ready or not, the big day is here. With mere hours until the wedding, Catherine goes to Anna's house to drop off the gown. Anna hasn't seen her dress yet. I hope she likes it. I think she will. Here's the dress. I'm trusting you with this. OK? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Anna. Bye. It's finally time for Anna to see her wedding dress. OK, are you ready to see your dress? Yes, I can't wait. 
Look at you. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Look at it. I actually look like a bride. Yeah. So nice at the back. Catherine has really good taste. I really like it. Yeah. Yeah? You're gonna be able to dance with this long dress? You want to look sexy and your wedding? Yeah, I will. You know what I brought for you? Oh my God, you brought that dress? Yes, <gasps> because I want you to change your mind about the long dress. This is the short one, the oh, sexy no. one that I chose for you. You remember, it's so yeah. hot and so sexy. So I don't know. Try, you're gonna like it, I'm sure. If so I show up in this, I don't know. Anna, Anna, just try, I am sure you're gonna like it because I know you, I am your mother. I know I like it, it's cute, but Catherine's gonna be mad. Don't tell Catherine about that because we're gonna get mad. We're gonna surprise her. I don't know if I could change it. Last minute, especially. You can change it. It's your oh, wedding, no Catherine's wedding. I could dance in it more freely and walk better than in this other of course. one. That's why. That's I why. mean, and you wanna look sexy. So know. this is your choice. Up to you. I am sure you're gonna change your mind about this long dress. Think about it. Okay. Okay. It's pretty cute. Oh my God, Catherine's gonna kill me. With time running out, Nick swings by his mom's house to pick up his wedding wear. What do we got here? Your vision. No. You're going to be quite the no. gentleman when you wear this. I told you I wasn't wearing this thing. What era is it? I didn't 40s? think you were serious. Why are you being so difficult about this? A tail? Your tail? Oh my God. And your bow tie, you will look so handsome. What a gentleman. People do not have tails. Animals have tails. Nicholas, don't be difficult here. Why are you doing this? Fine. Oh, now that is cool. Yeah, fine. Fine. Fine means? Fine means yes, fine. Wear it. Beans, it's my wedding and fine. You... The bow ties, I don't no, forget to wear fine. it. Fine. <laughs> Gina and her crew are scrambling to transform the venue into a church. Yeah, these look nice. And we'll put one on each table there. OK. Right. And then we have the rose balls here. OK, that's perfect. You can put it right up there. I promised her that I was going to make this venue look like a church. It has not happened yet. I'm working on it. Catherine arrives at the venue for a last minute check-in. Hey. So we're obviously not finished, but it's becoming a church. I didn't want you to see it at this point. This is going to be very much like an altar. We're draping some flowers over there. We added the aisle runner for you. We've covered the chairs. Mm -hmm. I like that. You were right. It does look beautiful. I'm so glad you it's like gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. <sighs> Are you OK? Mm -hmm. I wish I were feeling better. Nicholas and I had a big disagreement about his top hat, his tux, the bow tie, the whole works. It didn't end well. Is he wearing the top hat and the tux? I have no idea. You can't worry about that. You have to get your hair done. You have to get your makeup done. I just want it to be a good day. <laughs> I know. I know you do. Now go take care of yourself. What's that? The salsa cake. Where's my cake? <laughs> your cake is its coming. It's not here it, yet. It, it's on its way. But... Yeah. All right. So hair, makeup. All okay. right. I'll All see right. you in a little bit. She had to come. Finally, Catherine's cake arrives. Wow. Do you like it? Oh, that's fantastic. Every tier is edible. Red velvet, chocolate, vanilla. Catherine is going to love it. Thank you Thank so you. much. It's all come together and just in time. OK, so the strings are here. Beautiful. The minister's here. Your cake is here. Gorgeous. All right, let's go get married. All right, come let's on. do it. The only one who's not here is mother of the bride. Catherine finds her and ushers her in. Anna, you're here. Hey, you. Come on in. Let's go. Okay. The ceremony begins with Nick in a suit. When I first saw Nicholas without his top hat and bow tie and his tails, I was really disappointed. I really thought he'd come through. At least Catherine got Anna to wear a classic long dress. Or so she hopes. Please stand in honor of the bride.
We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. Will you take this man to be your husband? I will. I promise to love you unconditionally and cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. <laughs> I, Nicholas, take Anna to be my wife. I promise to love you above all others. We have a very special ring bearer with us. Would you bring Nicholas Jr. up, please, to present the rings to mom and dad? Oh! <laughs> oh, my blue paisan, look at you. Please repeat after me. I, Anna, give you this ring. I, Anna, give you this ring. Wear it and thinking of me. Wear it and thinking of me. Know that I love you. Know that I love you. I, Nicholas, give you this ring. I, Nicholas, give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger, I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring. I ask you to wear this ring. As a reminder of the promises. As a reminder of the promises. We have spoken today. We have spoken today. As Anna and Nicholas have exchanged rings and shared vows, their union is symbolized by the blending of these two individual jars of sand. You can stand on your own, but when two people are united in marriage, a new, exciting, and a stronger entity is created. Bonded together, forming one heart, one life, and one love, for the two shall become one. And by the authority vested in me, I now declare you to be husband and wife. Yeah. In With the ceremony complete, the newlyweds walk the aisle straight into their reception. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming. It's nice to have you guys here with us. Woo! Yeah! And I also want to thank my mom and Nick's mom. We love you. We want to say we love you. So much. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Thank you so much for being behind us, you know, as friends and family and new family, and thank you very much. We love you. Thank you. We love you. <laughs> the luckiest man in the world. The luckiest woman in the world. <laughs> Me and Anna love each other so much. We're so happy to be married. Perfect wedding and a happy day. It was yeah. amazing. All the roses, the candles, everything. The runners, that the was colors, beautiful. colors, it was beautiful, everything. Everything was perfect. was perfect. I think Catherine is very happy the way the wedding turned out. She got her 40s vintage theme. We built her a church, as much of a church as we could. It was a beautiful wedding, and it looked stunning. She looked beautiful. I expecting her to appear with this short, sexy dress, but as long as she's happy, I am happy too. Oh, OK. You, you look so beautiful. And I love my dress. Very beautiful. When she walked in and I seen her, I felt like somebody kicked me in the stomach. I couldn't even speak. When I saw Nicholas, his suit looked so nice. It looked so perfect on him, exactly how I pictured my wedding to be. You, look at me. You look wonderful. Look I at this. I was just hoping you'd wear the bow tie and the tails. I know. Do I look good for you? You look wonderful. The wardrobe was a big problem. I have a build that doesn't suit all types of tuxedos, so at the end of it, I did get a very nice tuxedo. We're all happy, and my mother did approve. Beautiful. Look at this one here. Look at mine. Oh, that, that's beautiful. That is great. Minus yes. the peppers, because they're both beautiful, um, eh? Beautiful cakes. The two okay. cakes are great. Which is better for us, because we love both ideas. Yeah. Like, we yeah. thought both cakes were a great she idea. She can eat the peppers off mine. I'll eat the cake. <laughs> yeah. Hot, hot, hot like you, Anna. Yeah, I'm hot. <laughs> I love my cake. Look at you, Nick. You don't have a head. Be careful. <laughs> Be careful. I'm decapitated. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Look at this one. I'll eat both the cakes. Can I cut? Go ahead. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go here we it. go. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Yay. Ready? I love how everything turned out. Cotton did a very good job. I'm so happy. Everything is, uh, is uh, special. The bottom line is Anna and Nick had a beautiful wedding. That's what it's all about. My job is done. 
Yeah. Well, we're so happy to be married. Me yeah. and Anna are happy as ever could be. Yeah. And our son, Nicholas, he was the ring bearer. Oh, so that was amazing. Such a beautiful boy. He's all handsome in his suit. Daddy dressed him. It was a perfect touch. And we're so glad. This is what we needed. Yeah. There's like a boundary between us. Like, why aren't we married? We have a son. We have a house. So now we're complete. Big hug. One big group hugs, hug. Hugs, hugs. Come here. Yeah, thank you for being with us you know, on a special day like today. Our new families. Well, that's what it's all about. Yeah, our new families. We are now one. My new son. No more fighting. No, no more. No more fighting. No more. Get that knife away. <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. They made up. They're getting along yeah. great now, so the moms are perfect. Oh, we're partners now. No hurt. Yes. Yeah, we have family yeah. now. And I can't wait to dance. Salsa, merengue. So let's party. Let's go. Show me how to party, girl. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Matt and Desiree. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You need to hand over complete control of your wedding to one of your mothers. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I can apparently be somewhat intimidating. I like to have things my way. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? Are you oh, really thinking I'm gonna wear this? I don't even know if it's gonna work out. So may the best mom win. Desiree and Matt are a fun-loving couple who prove opposites attract. <laughs> Matt tends to be shy when he doesn't know you. Desiree is um, very outgoing, lots of energy. <laughs> Can you please hurry up? I'm ready and you're not. What's wrong? You're a turtle. Really busy. You could help. Just got to put my shoes on. Oh my god, are you kidding? Matt and I met five years ago. At the time, I had a boyfriend, but turns out he swept me off my feet. Once I realized she was it, I went in for the kill. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of a wedding ring do you want? Gold and diamonds. A couple years ago, I fake proposed with the candy ring. <laughs> it didn't go over too Hilarious. well. <laughs> Hilarious joke, by the way. But uh, this time, I put the real engagement ring into the candy wrapper. More than candy, fortunately. <laughs> Good boy. Matt and Desiree live at Matt's kisses? mom's house. Could I have a little bit more peanut butter, please? Content and taken sure. care of, Matt's happy to stay put. I'd love to see you taking more of an interest in this wedding. I'm stressing about my dress and the food. As long as there's food and drink, I'm happy. So much to get organized. The reason we're getting married now is because we're moving into our home so soon, which we're very excited about. I know I want to spend the rest of my life with her, so there's no putting off the inevitable. Romantic. <laughs> Romance or not, there won't be a wedding without Gina's professional help. Desiree and Matt are getting married, and I'm here to help them. But there are a few details that they don't know about just yet. I'm here to make your wedding day dreams come true. We'd appreciate the help, <laughs> definitely. There is one condition, though. You need to hand over complete control of your wedding. The place, theme, venue, the menu, to one of your mothers. But not every detail. Like, I can pick my dress and maybe the colors and that sort of thing just to make sure. Even dress. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Serious. Oh. Oh, boy. Which mother? Well, you'll get to choose. OK. Are you prepared to do this? Let's give it a go. So I guess, I guess we could work with it, maybe. <laughs> so let's go get married. Yay. All right. <laughs> Desiree, I don't think really had a grasp on giving total control to the moms and what it meant. Matt seems pretty easy breezy. It's definitely going to be a struggle. Bring on the moms. Desiree's mom, Lorette, is all about appearances, fashion, and design. She likes to be in control, and she's not shy about sharing her opinion with her only daughter, Desiree. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sort of a type A personality, or so I've been told. I like looking 
classically elegant so that when you go into a store, people ask you if you would like some help instead of ignoring you. Lorette's very much the person who's in charge. I can apparently be somewhat intimidating. She opened her arms to me uh, from the first time we met. So the first time he showed up, he brought a gift. He didn't speak, and every time since then, for about three years, he would bring gifts, but he wouldn't speak. My mom, Lorette, is a phenomenal lady. We've got a big Christmas party coming up for the parenting class. She's organized. I like things to be neat and orderly. I like everything to be color-coded. I have all the pillows in order. My closet, all the grays are in one area and the reds are in the other. I like the cleanness of it. She's who I would like to be in a number of years with a few minor tweaks. <laughs> Matt's mom, Anne, is all for country home cooking and cozy family comfort. I have a special snack for you. I am very casual. That's me, because I know that if I'm going to have my grandchildren and children around to have fun at my place, that's the way I need to be. Anne is a free spirit. I've been married a long time. I got married when I was 12. No. <laughs> No, I've been married for 40 years. There's no common ground between these moms. We're completely different. Anne's style, I would say, is more country, cozy, comfortable. Lorette is more into the city life. In her house, you could just come in and put your feet up so on the couch here. and, you know, it's, it's all good, dogs and animals. It's small children, if they drop things on the floor, that's okay. Fishy kiss? Mm -hmm. It's been great having Desiree and Matthew live here. She looks really pretty. Anne loves it because she's bonding. I'm getting to know her really well. <laughs> I'm so excited. She's like a daughter to me. I'm not so crazy about it. I miss having Des around. These families have very different views on the big day. Something that's a bit out of the ordinary. Very traditional. Lights and sparkle. Chocolate, chocolate everywhere. Very sophisticated, chic. Jackie Onassis. <laughs> she overthinks every every aspect of design. Dark, earthy tones. <laughs> Simple, elegant, chic. Maybe some candied apples, beaver tails. It would be absolutely dramatic if Matt and Desiree came into the wedding on two horses. Oops. Does Matt even know what he wants? Main course, beef, chicken, um, salad, dessert. With so many conflicting ideas, it's time for Gina to lay down some rules. Moms, you have two days to put together your vision of what you would love your children's wedding day to be. One mom's idea will be chosen. Um, this should be interesting. The losing mom will have to help the winning mom with planning out the entire wedding. Wow. OK. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a hard time digesting it all. You're doing everything. So you would even be responsible for picking my dress, planning the I guest list. I didn't even do that for my own wedding. Well, this is this is it. Okay, this is what you have to do. Visit, yep. This will be a real test. I am not a good follower. I'm also a pretty determined person. So we're all on board? I'm good with it. For sure. OK. So may the best mom win. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever Desiree and Matt decide on, they're going to have to live with that for the rest of their lives. And the whole idea of assisting doesn't work for me. I'm a born leader. I'm a Leo. <sighs> See me roar. Lorette, soon we will be in-laws. But until then, it's in-law wedding wars. Each mom has just 48 hours to find items that explain their wedding vision. No, 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 no. I'm a bit concerned. Uh, my mom's very detail-oriented. I'm worried that she won't focus on the bigger picture um, and get caught up in all of these nitty-gritty details that will overwhelm her. Dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and then sort of a cappuccino kind of color. You told me that those are good for weddings, right? They're popular for weddings. They're very classy as well. If Anne were to plan the wedding, I can picture things that maybe are outdated. Love that. Dazzling. Maybe things that wouldn't be my choice. Two kissing doves for the bride and groom. I love these candied apples. They're such a dark, brilliant red. Gina will present the mom's visions to the couple. One mom will win, the other so will lose. Awesome. I really appreciate it. She's the person that worries about the dress and everything. I'm just there to have a good time.
Ready or not, it's time for the moms to show their stuff. How are I you? Just put all these oh boy. things down. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw some things on the table until I get a little organized here. Okay. What's your vision here? Black and white wedding. Okay. Very dramatic. With crimson red as an accent color. And with some nature. Bring it to life like a winter wonderland. Can we move your, uh, your yeah. binder there? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. This is a full-blown concept work. This is fantastic. Lots of sparkle. Chocolate, sort of Jackie Kennedy. The idea that chocolate is very regal. Some fudge. Classy. Some candied apples. Beaver tails. Something that's tasty and lovely and just like love itself. This is the cake. You're thinking cupcakes and then just one token cake that they can cut. Right, one on. token cake. I love that. It's different. Have chocolate bars that have Matt and Desiree's names on them. OK. When they're lit up, they are, like, glorious. Spectacular. Some natural lighting, but a lot of sparkle. The wedding dress. The black ribbon accentuates her waist. It'll complement her figure. So like a white chocolate? Yeah, white chocolate. Mm. These are fantastic. Long, tall ones in the vases with some roses and those sparkles in them. You're thinking like high center pieces. High. Rather than have a lot of flowers that interrupt conversation, you just have a nice flickering candle that sets the ambiance for that sort of classy affair. The Pièce de résistance. I want pearls like draped everywhere. This kind of is the whole wedding, right? Diamonds are tacky, too glittery, and not the classy, elegant look that we're going for. The glittery razzle dazzle ball. So disco ball. With all of this, my head is sort of spinning. We have tons to work with. Let me put together the perfect presentation for Desiree and Matt, and hopefully they'll love it too. Lots of luck. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. I think I might just win this. I don't know if Desiree and Matt are going to go for either of these pitches. Both visions need refining. I've got my work cut out for me. There's no competition, basically, between the two of us. It's, it's over. Lorette has to worry about the razzle-dazzle in me. I'm still picking glitter off of everything. <laughs> it's time for Desiree and Matt to judge their mom's hard work. Nervous? Very nervous. It's a big thing. What the happy couple don't know is that both their mothers are watching and listening from a secret hiding place. They're looking a little worried. Behind these screens are the presentations that represent the most important day of your lives. Now you two have to decide which one best represents you. My goodness, we're in trouble. <laughs> Are you ready to see what one of your weddings could be? Definitely. Definitely. Oh, oh, wow. Jump. So much to take in. Very sparkly. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> hey, really. <laughs> I know I'm a little country, but that's, that's kind of crazy. Oh. Hay? Candy apples on hay. Nice, that's classy. So the theme for this wedding is winter wonderland in the country. Mm. Country <laughs> elegance. Sparkles are, are wonderful. What? In a barn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give it a chance, Dizzle. Give it a chance. I like the colors. Very festive, very warm. Definitely like that. Yeah. Hot chocolate. Candy apples as favors. They're something you don't see at every wedding, so it's different, and I like that. Good, Matt. Rather than a traditional wedding cake, cupcakes. Oh. How about Sue, the cutest ring bearer ever? Why not? If you have hay, you might as well have a dog. Now, your gown is very classic, very elegant. Definitely some sort of black sash. I do like the dramatic black sash idea, but I was never in the market for something with sequins or bling at the top. I'm open to the black sash. Great. I love the overall vibe that I'm getting from this. How about we take a look at the next presentation? Definitely. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very different. It's like night and day. <laughs> totally different. So it is a absolute chocolate-themed wedding, fit for Jackie O. Don't like that idea at all. A little more contemporary, but definitely classic. The color scheme would be shades of chocolate. So the history of chocolate explained in cards that would be on the dinner tables. We're sure it's not chocolate overkill. <laughs> 
What? Never too much chocolate. We have a really pretty low arrangement filled with candles, so bringing a lot of warmth to the space. The candles are, are pretty subdued. Uh, I would prefer something more dramatic. Oh. These we thought were great rather than a guest book. Polished stones. People could actually sign their names on them. That's could, neat. And your wedding gown. Strapless, elegant. A good bit of work here, embroidery, um, some detail, lots and lots of detail actually, but definitely cinched in, strapless, with an A-line sort of ball gown silhouette. That sounds great too. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> this would be more or less a traditional wedding cake. The colors, I'm not too sure about. No, 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 it's fantastic. Well, it sounds like you guys have a lot to discuss. We do. I'll leave you for a few minutes. When I get back, you'll give me your decision. Okay. All right. I'll try. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> what do you think? Lorette and Anne are cut off while Desiree and Matt decide which of their moms will be the wedding winner. Okay. So, I hope we find out soon. They're both great in their own ways. Um, I don't know what we're going to decide. I have to get past the purple and brown. I definitely like the cupcake idea. Me too. The sparkle is really fitting for the season, too. I feel confident. OK. Once we've made our decision, who's going to break the news to our moms? You have a way with words that will both make them feel comforted <laughs> in whoever's we don't choose. I don't want to hurt anybody. And I think you should mm. just recognize that it's my special day. The bride and has all the tough decisions. <laughs> the hard work. It's all on you. Period. <laughs> End of discussion. <laughs> okay, guys. Deep breath. <sighs> it's time. We're okay with that. We've made our decision, and it wasn't easy, but we're firm on our decision. Okay, guys. Don't tell me. Okay. Tell your moms. <laughs> oh, no. This is going to be hard. So Desiree and Matt, what you don't know is that your moms have been backstage watching and listening to all of your comments. We did. I'm sorry for anything hurtful that we said. It's OK. I'm going to leave you guys to tell them who you decided on. OK. All right, come on. I'm going to let Matt take this one. <laughs> we really do like them both. There's certain aspects of each that are not our favorites, as you are well aware. We're waiting. <laughs> We're waiting. <laughs> um, so after some talking. Lots of back and forth. Mm -hmm. We have decided to go with. Lorette's plan. <laughs> you are kidding. This is the biggest thing since sliced bread. I couldn't be any more excited about planning for my daughter's wedding. <laughs> Don't cry. We love you. I'm so sorry. Don't cry. I am pretty shocked. To be really honest with you, I am. OK. Though, you know, you have to go with punches, right? And we still want you to be a big part of the wedding. OK. Matthew, oh. keep going. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Don't cry, OK? A uh, little bit upset. Breaking the news to my mom was hard. I had an awful feeling in my stomach, mm. and I was just thinking, I'm about to marry into this family, and I don't want Matt's mom to hate me for the rest of my life. I mean, that's beautiful, right? It's quite unusual. A little busy. But we need you to be on board, because this is what our wedding's going to look like. Right. Lorette, congratulations. Thank you. You both did a magnificent job, but you're to be Lorette's assistant throughout the wedding planning process. Yes. I hope that you can work together. We're good with this, right? You are. We're oh, good with it. It's I'm thinking good. about it. I'm not a pushover at all. If I don't like an idea, she's going to hear about it. <laughs> what, 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 what? You want me to be your assistant? I do. Please. Be a little nicer. Lorette is pretty good. driven, pretty assertive, um, and she likes the idea that she's now going to be in charge. It's her daughter's wedding. But Anne, uh, she's got a strong way about her, and uh, I think she's going to give her a run for her money. 
With less than a week till the big day, it's time to tackle Desiree's biggest desire, the dress. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding dress. And That's whatever enough. decision you Lorette makes, Desiree is going to have to live out. with. Out. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you. Oh, this is the one. <gasps> this is the one. Uh, no, that'll make her. No. No, no, no. Because no, no, no. we have the same figure, and that would be. That's what you think? You have the same figure as well, Desiree? Well, she's taller, but. I think I should get a choice here. What about this? I don't know, though. It might be too I like much. That one. We'll keep that one in mind. And give There's it a so try, Lorette. You have from? to be a little bit more open. Desiree is blindfolded. She won't get to see her dress until her wedding day. Oh, yeah. It's all on her Very mom, Lorette. Princess. Look at that. Oh, as it comes down the aisle, that's fantastic. Very princess. It doesn't seem like something that would be me. You're, an, it, you're not you. It's your wedding day, for heaven's sakes. You're, you're a princess for a day. I'd like to try another. I'm not feeling it. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. I think it's a little flowery around parts hard. of it. Teeny tiny little waist, the way it all, it's very regal. It really is. I'm glad you have me here to assist you because you need a little bit of like mm. some honesty here. Give it to me. What's the honesty? I hate it. And I think the sooner you get that off, the better. Ouch. This is ridiculous. Like I'm fuming. Ooh, that's the one I picked. Quite beautiful. No. No, it's like almost like a mini skirt. Well, it's just I tried. Barmaidy. We don't do bling. Bling is not our thing. Your mom's in charge. Welcome to my life. <laughs> well, that is pretty. No. Thoughts? I think it's too high. Absolutely sensational. I don't know who to trust. It's not a oh. wedding dress. Oh, the back smashing on you. It's all good. It's all good. A little too much. It seems a bit ridiculous that I tried on like 20 dresses. I'm exhausted and I'm frustrated and I'm just annoyed and I don't even know if it's going to work out. Fantastic, yeah. It's pretty plain. Haven't we figured it out already, ladies? No, 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 I've got it. I've made my decision. I'm good. Okay, that's it. You don't have to try on any more. Lorette, are we not going to chat about this? Obviously, it doesn't seem really important what I have to say. I am trying hard to be your assistant. Do it your thing and I think I'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay, well, I do need your help with other things. I just wanted to wait outside because I needed to take a breather. My mom, I just am worried that she'll buy something that would suit her, but not me. I don't want to look like my mom. Bottom line is, bride's mother, mother knows best. With the big day looming, the moms dip into Lorette's inspiration for the chocolate-covered wedding. Come on this way. And I really, really need your help here. This has a, like a phenomenal selection. Because of the, the huge variety of them, I couldn't possibly discern between one or the other, you know, the ambiance, the aroma. Chocolates, chocolate. It's this delicious. is not chocolate. This is this is nirvana. Just have a bite of that one. Oh, this one's made mm. with some wine. <gasps> Mango. If you would try that one. Do I have to try this one too? Of course. She wasn't very responsive. She wanted to help. Come on, help. I want you to try this one here. <laughs> Give me a moment, girl. Uh, you're not driving, right? Right now, <laughs> no, today? No, I'm not okay, driving, Lorette. These are filled with whiskey and passion fruit. Think with you, I need the whiskey. Uh, this was a wonderful opportunity for her to have some fun, and we could hopefully bond. Don't you uh, think we've tried enough, Lorette? Lorette, it's chocolate. No, no, it's not. It's Everyone the likes... It's the center core. It's the theme. It's everything about the whole thing. It's its pivotal. With Lorette, I've had more chocolate stuffed down my throat in this short time here than I've had for the last year. I'm certainly not going to eat all these chocolates. I've got a dress to get into. Lorette wants her vision to be seen through to the letter. We're just going to go down here for an outfit for you. It'll be For me? For you. I think I can dress myself. Let's go. Let's do Lorette's thing. OK, so there might be something here that will be perfect ah, to help with my yes, vision. Yes, red. That's the reduced to clear rack. We're not going there. Over here, these are all the chocolates, which is sort of in keeping with what it is that I'm trying to do. Just um, um, have a little look at this, OK? Now, this is just the Lorette, top, of course. I know you're little, but Lorette, there is a I skirt said that I goes I don't want with. sleeveless. No, there's a jacket. I have, I've thought of everything. It's all good. Not to worry. Here we go. So, Anne, come on out. I want to see it. Um, do you have it on yet? 
Yes, I have it okay, on. Okay, come on. So you've got to be kidding me. No, no, just... Oh, what are you wearing for the it. wedding? She wants to, like, really upstage me. Just let me look like myself. I do not want to wear this dress. It needs to just be... Look at how beautiful... Lorette, I'm trying to cooperate. Yes. That's what I said I'd do, but I don't like this dress. And I would really like it if you'd let me wear what kind of... I would like to wear it to my son's wedding. Because you're getting to wear what you want to wear to but your But it's my vision. Wedding. It's my vision. But what, there's supposed to be a little bit of give and take here. Come on. I That's do right. not want to wear to this. Give Are you really thinking bit. I'm going to wear this? You have to give a little bit. Well, Lorette, I've had enough. I've had enough. Isn't oh, this? and you're not... What am I going to do? This isn't working. This isn't Get working. This you're not cooperating. I want it for both of our children. You can't just, like, show up in some, I don't know, red dress or something. It would be appalling. It would look so déclassé. There's no way I'm going to go to a wedding looking like that. There's absolutely no way. I don't know how we're going to fix it. Gina can be very persuasive. I think I'm going to ask her to kind of, you know, give me a hand. Gina arrives just in time to try to keep the peace. The moms are at an impasse. If I can't get Lorette to hand over some control and give Anne some of her vision back, this wedding is not going to happen. I'm not angry. I am upset. I don't understand why she's not cooperating with anything. She doesn't like my ideas. She's very stubborn. I'm so frustrated. I just don't know what to do with her anymore. Well, she's upset. Mm -hmm. So why don't you ease up on picking her out the dress that you want her to wear? But what if she wears something atrocious? Just let her wear it. She knows what the color palette is. She knows how to dress. But the pictures, they're for a lifetime. Fashion sense. I have it. She doesn't. Give her the dress. Let it go. <sighs> all right, all right. It's, I came to you for advice, so OK, thanks. And there's one more thing. Oh, boy. I think that you should give Anne just a little bit of her fun, fresh winter wonderland theme in your wedding. Give her control of, let's say, the dessert table. But that's not small. That's important. It's going to be out at the end of the night. You're going to have your vision completely, completely done throughout the evening. Candy apples. Candy apples. That's, beaver there's, tails, there's hot the chocolate. Beaver tails. <laughs> this is so wrong. No, I don't know about that. That's so déclassé. Candy apples at a wedding? We'll make it fresh. We'll make it posh. We'll make it chic. <sighs> OK. Let's bring Anne in. Hi, Anne. Have a seat. Lorette happened to get here a little early. And we had a chat, and we came up, I think, with something that you're going to be really happy with. You guys came up with something you thought I'd be happy with? Well, actually, Anne, I think you're going to find that it's a good thing. First off, you get to pick and wear whatever you want on the wedding day. Now, that sounds fantastic. Oh, Lorette doesn't look too happy with that, but I'm excited. Thank you. And something else, right? You get to have full control of the dessert table at the wedding. Really? Yes. I'm on board. Yep. You get the dessert, you get a dress. All right, enough of this. Let's get busy. Let's get to work. Go plan a wedding. This way, girl. Now Anne's holding the reins, and she's okay. taking Lorette for a spin around the local okay. farmer's market. You don't want beaver tails? I think it sounds oh. so awful. Well, so I'm bad. willing. Beaver tails. Here, have a beaver tail. I'm willing to give a bit for I you. Know, I know, so I know. Got some more things to show you that I'm interested in for the dessert table. Okay. Um, uh, I'm all ears. Yes. Well, I think what we should do is go to the candied apple table. So we're going to put the apple in and spin it and make the candy apples. So you okay. just go across. Ooh, that looks back. great. It's a little thick there. And try to give it a little spin. That's really hot. On the tray. I think get, that looks a little apple, dangerous, Anne. Get it down low. Across. Cover the apple. Spin. Ooh. Spin. What a show off. Put it down. I don't. Lorette, it's a Why an apple. are we doing this anyhow? Don't you For just go and buy table. these kind of things? Let's go. Lorette, look enthusiastic. This is for your daughter's wedding. Um, Put her on the tray. Don't look. Down, get down. Yeah, don't, you don't want to burn yourself. Yep. Look at this. Uh, Lorette. It's called I told candied me. apple. Sorry, I do something thing. else for a living, OK? This, this is, is disgusting. Yep, that's good. Voila. 
Okay, get it all covered. You're crazy. Really? Look at that. There's only a tiny bit of the apple top showing. You know what? I like the apple top showing because then people will know that it's real food as opposed to candy. Great I don't job, know how though. this qualifies as dessert, and Okay, let's go. A couple more dozen to go at least. Are you joking? I am not joking. Candy apples. I mean, seriously. If I'd had any idea that this is how I was going to be spending my time, I would have, I don't know, put on a little country ensemble like Anne was wearing. I want to check in with Desiree and Matt. With so much going on, I hope they're not getting cold feet. So, how are you guys feeling? I'm stressed about everything. I'm I'm really freaking out. I can't believe I'm not going to know what my own wedding dress looks like. It's actually pretty outrageous. I've sort of always dreamed of being able to choose something that was so beautiful, and, and now that control's been given to the mums, I have nightmares about it every night. Do you have any concern? My main concern would be with my mom. The days that she comes home from being with Lorette, she's a little stressed out. We kind of had a breakthrough. Um, we were able to give your mom a little bit of control as far as the wedding goes, and they both know how you want to look and feel on your wedding day. They are not going to steer you wrong. So stop stressing out. Well, be ready for the 3 a.m. phone call then. <laughs> <laughs> so hang in there. OK. While the bride and groom-to-be lay low, Gina rallies the troops for a wedding rehearsal. Desiree will be right here, and Matt will be right here. Well, I'll have you next, yep. and then my next gentleman right here. And tomorrow, girls, you'll be holding your bouquets. My flower girls will be right in this line. Perfect. Good job, guys. I think we're ready to have a wedding. All right, that went well, huh? Oh, yeah, I, I'm just a little nervous. Nervous, sure. Yeah. Mother of the bride. Well, yeah, yeah. There's so many people, you know, haven't seen them in a long time, especially, you know, Des's dad. And yeah, it's been a really long time. How long? About 20 years. Yeah. 20 years? Yeah. Wow. Oh. It's a tough day. Girl, let's get you a cocktail. Come on. Oh, yeah. Or three. There's no time for Lorette to dwell. She needs to put on a brave face for the wedding rehearsal party. Excuse me. Can I get everyone's attention? So thank you so much to all of you for being here and making um, our wedding day perfect. Well, we think it might be well, perfect. We're not And we're hoping yet. it will be. I'm freaking out a little bit. I have no idea what the decor is going to look like. I wouldn't be surprised if Anne's dessert table didn't match the decor at all. Lorette is going to be blown away by the dessert table. I'm so tired. I just don't even have it in me. And that's a piece of all of it. And it's like not gelling with my vision, that's for sure. I think things are definitely going to clash. And most importantly, my dress might be hideous. I'm not going to get any sleep tonight. And the makeup better be fabulous, because I'm going to have crazy bags under my eyes and just be exhausted. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. I really don't know what's going to happen, but I'm hoping that everyone understands that I haven't planned anything, and this is just coming You should just pull the whole thing off. After five years, Desiree and Matt are to be married today. Everything color. has to be perfect. Lorette's not leaving anything to chance. Hi. Hey. hey. How are you? Good. So. Uh, it's not too much done yet, eh? Well, I mean, we just got in. OK. Um, which we're used to. Don't worry. OK. So and sweet table, uh -huh. we're going to put right here. Oh, no, no, no. We can't have it here, because this is where everybody enters, and that would be the first thing they see. Can we put it, like, is there a closeted area or something behind, like, a, I don't know, like some of these drapes or something? A closet. OK, whatever. But at least at the other side of the room where the majority of our guests will not be able to see. OK, OK. We'll move some of these tables down, and we'll have the dessert awesome. section over Thank there. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you. Thanks, Gina. Your centerpieces uh -huh. are not here yet. What? Uh, th it, that's OK. That's not the problem. Uh, they, There's a problem? Well, they called me, and the shade of purple that they have is... The eggplant. It, it's not eggplant. But it has to be eggplant. Everything's eggplant. It's it's tough just because it's the dead of winter. They're having a, a problem getting a color that they that... They fly flowers in from all over the world. It's a little bit of a problem right now. They're sending some lighter problem. shades. We, ha we have to have the eggplant. That's the accent color. We have to have it. Okay. 
So you're not okay with just adding in a little more ivory or a little more of the lighter? No. Okay. Okay. No, 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 we have to. That's key to the vision. Purples are, are royalty. They're elegant. They're, that's imp so important. It's what you want. We have to get it. I will work on it. It's situations like this that drive me absolutely crazy. No matter how many weddings I plan, there are always last minute fires to put out. But it's 24 hours before the wedding. It's crunch time. I need to see Des in the dress. Lorette leaves Gina to find the perfect shade of flowers and arrives at Anne's house to deliver Desiree's dress. Okay, thanks. Okay, you ready? Down low. Really? Across, yes. really? Spin, You're really ready? Okay, spin. on the count of three. One, two, three. What do you think? Do you like it? I love it. It's such a nice fit. Isn't it beautiful? Look at you. It's absolutely perfect. It's like it was made for you. Look at all the beautiful little details. It's beautiful. You couldn't look more magnificent. Everything is just, it just so perfectly complements you. Everything's perfect. You look great. I never, ever expected to have such a beautiful dress. Thanks. Thanks, Mom. Thank you. I'm really happy with it. She looks beautiful. And thank you, Anne, too, it's for... It's really beautiful, and it suits you. It's beautiful. It's not quite what I've chosen, but mine would have been totally different, and how this looks on you is fantastic. I really wanted it to be dramatic, but still elegant, and I think you did a really great job doing that, Of course Mom. it's elegant, and it's beautiful on you. You look amazing, like a princess. I hope it all comes together later today. Oh, it will. Don't worry. Everything's under control. Can I just have a little chat with Des sure. for a sec? Certainly. See you. Call me when you want me back. Okay, okay? thanks. Thanks. See you, Anne. See you. Come on over here for a sec, honey. Okay. Okay, um, we haven't had a chance to talk. I need to sort of know what this story is about walking down the aisle. Who's going to walk you down the aisle? Well, you, of course. Good. <laughs> but also, Dad. Your dad. My dad. At the same time. Is that going to be OK? Is okay. that going to be OK? Yeah? Yeah. OK. Of course, it's your day. OK. It's whatever you want. If that's what you want, that's what I'll do. It's your wedding day. I can't believe it. Mm. I'll get ready. Yeah, let's. Wedding to go Come on. to. Come let's go. table over there, which is going to be great to have. I'd really appreciate it. It's the day of the wedding, and Anne is scrambling right to finish here, her Winter Wonderland oh. dessert table. Oh, my. Wouldn't want to ruin the effect of yeah. the cake. No one will ever notice. <laughs> Gina. Hey, how are you? How's it going? Eggplant. Oh, uh, this, wonderful. Is this eggplant that enough is for eggplant. You? Okay, that good. is magnificent. Fantastic. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. What's up? How are you? The only thing I'm still kind of like, not, I'm not freaking, but like, have you seen Anne? Did you see what she's wearing? Her wedding attire? You don't know that. No, I do okay. not know. You want to have a seat? Okay, just for, yeah. Yeah, so. You know, okay? Yeah, no, I'm just kind of, my head's just kind of, I just was talking to Des and, um, yeah, she's. I thought I was walking her down the aisle, and now it turns out it's uh, not just me. She's gonna have her dad and myself walk her down the aisle. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Just like I'm just trying to get my head around it, basically. Yeah. So, because it just wasn't sort of how I, you know, envisioned it, or. But yeah, this is what we're doing. I I understand it's tough. I can't imagine. Okay, thank you. But we're gonna get you Thanks. through it. Thanks. Go get changed. Okay. Ready or not, it's time for the wedding. I hope I can get this wedding underway without any more problems. Lorette is going to be seeing her ex-husband for the first time in 20 years. I have no idea what Anne's wearing. The whole thing could fall apart at the last minute. Lorette's put a smile on her face and is ready to share the aisle with her ex-husband. It's all good. You're gonna do great. Here comes Lorette, but she's walking with her own husband. 
and Desiree's dad walks down the aisle with his wife. There's been a last minute upset, and now, no sign of the bride. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. I, Matthew, take thee, Desiree. I, Matthew, take thee, Desiree. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish to love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I, Desiree, take thee, Matthew. I, Desiree, take thee, Matthew. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I pronounce that they be man and wife together according to God's holy ordinance. It was a huge success. Matt was really, really happy, which was great to see. Desiree looked absolutely beautiful. Lorette got her entire theme. It was chocolate extravaganza. I'm gonna ask everyone to stand, please, while we welcome the bride and groom. was going to be walking Desiree down the aisle and then we realized it was a very small church and she had a very large dress so at the very last minute we had to decide that we would be up at the front and she would come down on her own. I was so proud of the fact that she did that. She was very brave. I'm I thrilled. Couldn't be happier to be married to her. When I first saw her in the wedding dress I was absolutely stunned and I couldn't imagine the wedding being any better than it was. She's the most beautiful person in the world. When I first saw my mom's decor, I was really, really impressed, and I think she did an amazing job. I couldn't have planned a more beautiful wedding myself. Even though it's not my vision. Because <laughs> everything is beautiful. Give it up, girl. It's elegant. It's over now. It's elegant. And there really aren't enough words to say how I feel right now. Anne really excels when it comes to really delicious sweets, and my God, did she do a good job. You give Anne one thing to have control over, and she goes a little crazy, but the crowd really loved it, so no harm done. The cupcake was great, and I can't wait to eat more. I'm going to have cupcakes, I'm going to have chocolate-covered pretzels, I'm going to have candy apples. I think we put her in charge of the right <laughs> thing. Mm. I was so concerned about what Anne was going to wear. I was genuinely congratulatory with the elegance of her ensemble. I thought she looked amazing. It's fantastic. Yeah, I know. We're, We're happy. We the should do this happy. for a living. <laughs> There were quite a few in-law wedding wars, but at the end of the day, I think everybody sort of came together again, and that was great to see. So a successful wedding all the way around. I would like to take this opportunity to, again, thank our fabulous mothers. Ladies, you look beautiful tonight, and, and we owe this entire occasion to all of your hard work, and you put your whole heart into it, and we can't tell you how much we appreciate that. We're feeling the love. <laughs> feeling the love. It's all good. We bonded. Here's to this fabulous <laughs> dessert. Here's to a great wedding. Yeah. A gorgeous, fantastic couple.